Beyond the basic share settings in Google Drive, there are also advanced options that help you tailor further who exactly has what level of access to your document, particularly if you're sharing with large groups, and what people can do with that document uh, once they have access to it. So the first thing that you'll do is once you click share, you'll see that you have the get shareable link part and then also the people that you can add. Uh, but if you click on the bottom right here where it says advanced, you get a more granular view of the different things that you can do uh, with the share settings. So the first thing is that you may want to change individual people or groups level of access to this without removing everybody's. So to do that, what you would do is click on uh, that little uh, pencil icon to the right there and then you can again change which level of access this person has. So that way it didn't change anything else that was already set up for other users or groups but it did change that person's settings. Uh, you can also use this to remove access entirely for different people. So for instance, um, if there's a user that you no longer want to have access to this at all, you click this little X right here, and then they no longer have access to that document. Now another new feature that came out, which is uh, pretty handy, is that a little stopwatch icon will appear. And what you can do there is you can set an expiration date for that person's level of access. So by default, it pops up at 30 days, but you can create a custom date and time that that resource would actually expire for that person. It doesn't mean that that resource goes away, it just means that that person or that user group that you set up will no longer have access to edit, modify, or change the document. Now further below there's two other settings that you can choose. The first is to prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. Uh, this is good if you want people to actually go in and, and change and collaborate on a document, but you don't necessarily want them having the level of access that you do as far as adding new people to that document. Uh, the other one is for uh, a disabling feature where it will prevent people from downloading, printing, and, and uh, copy for commenters and, and viewers. So uh, basically this will help lock down that document if it's something that you really don't want getting out there and shared. And once you've made these advanced uh, share setting features, just make sure that you click the Save Changes button at the bottom, and then all of your new settings will go into effect.